Hello, party people. This is JR Ben, aka 730, coming to you with another public service announcement. I want to encourage everybody out there to go out there and see Alien Romulus, the newest movie by Disney Fox. But I don't think Disney had too much to do with it because it's pretty good. All right, um, spoiler alert because I'm about to tell everything about the movie. I love this movie. I encourage everybody to go see it. I've been an Alien fan since Aliens. I went back and saw Alien and I don't like it as much as Aliens, but it's still pretty good. And I even have Prometheus and Alien Covenant. Now, Alien 3 and Alien Resurrection were never my favorites, but I do love the, all the Predator movies and the Alien vs. Predator movies. All right, um, the uh, movie starts off with Rain and Andy. They're like siblings, but Andy is adopted. He's an android, one of the one, you know, in all the alien movies, they have some type of android that always malfunctions and kills everybody or tries to keep all the xenomorph eggs and give them to the company. Well, this one is actually damaged and retarded, and her father repaired it and made it her, uh, her adopted brother, and he's black and she's white, and I guess the parents are dead. So the two of them take care of each other, and his prime directive, instead of taking care of the company, is taking care of his sister, Rain. And um, they have a couple friends, and for some reason, everybody in the movie has a British accent or Australian accent, something or other, but it's weird. But um, yeah, there's a derelict uh, ship flying over the, uh, floating over the mining colony that they're stuck in. So... Uh, the group of them will go up inside a little shuttle and visit the derelict ship and they're going to try to use it to get to the company so they can escape the planet and get moved somewhere else. Now, when they do this, they're going to have to leave the android behind because I guess his model is obsolete. His uh, android was before the ones that were in the movie Alien. And then, you know, the one in Aliens was Bishop, made after Bishop Whelan, the Whelan Utility Company. But, um... Let me see here. Uh, I guess after the first movie, because this takes place in between Alien and Aliens, after the first movie, they went back to LV-421, got some eggs, and they ended up hatching and infecting everybody in the crew while they were trying to store all the facehuggers. And they made a bunch of aliens, and they uh, uh, made their little cocoon things all over the ship. And it was just floating there because everybody was fucking dead. And they had the same android from the Alien movie, but it was damaged. And so when these guys get there, he plugs, they put the ship from the, um, uh, from the Romulus ship inside the, uh, you know, inside Andy. And then he, uh, gets the, um, same mission that the other one had to serve the company by infecting all the humans. So he goes by doing that today, eventually... Uh, get the chip out of him and then he reverts back to just saving rain but in between that when he first get there they're going around they find the eggs but they don't see them and they um they're not eggs anymore they're just face huggers inside these little bags and as the temperature uh warms up and gets to room temperature these little eggs things hatch and the face huggers are going around trying to infect everybody and they finally get one person this uh asian chick and they want to leave her behind but the, uh, her boyfriend decides to take her along, so they take her, and there's another girl who's pregnant inside the shuttle when these two get aboard, and he tries to take off, but something happens, and the shuttle crashes into the ship and lands uh, in part of it, and they breach the hole, so now the thing is, uh, everything was just going wrong in the whole movie. And by that point, um, the alien hatches from the Asian chick, and then... The dude got hurt during the crash, so the alien goes, starts growing into a full-grown alien. It's in a little cocoon thing, and it ends up uh, killing the dude. And so the pregnant chick, she is saved by the rest of the ones that got left behind. It's her, her brother, uh, Rain, and uh, what's the dude's name? Andy, because... The other dude and the Asian chick got killed. So now the four of them are left, and they kidnap the pregnant chick and impregnate her, and these guys go and save her. And then uh, Andy won't let them, uh, won't let her come with them. He won't open the door for her because there's an alien right behind her. So they leave her behind, and that's right before they go and save her. And then they find out she's infected. And during that point, that's when uh, the boyfriend gets killed, or maybe that's her brother or some dude. But anyway. Yeah, that's her brother. So he gets killed. And so the sister who's pregnant and also infected is with the rest of them. And then um, 
android from the first movie he gives them some uh black goo that they created that's supposed to like fuse humans and aliens and make some type of hybrid and they're supposed to give it to the pregnant chick but i don't think they gave it to her but somehow i guess because she got impregnated while she was impregnated she ends up giving birth to a hybrid she she gives birth to an actual fucking egg and out of the egg comes a human alien type thing and so this thing kills her immediately and feeds on her they is trying to kill rain but they end up blowing it out of the airlock they did do it in the uh, first original alien movie and some uh they had this one cool scene where they were shooting guns while because they couldn't shoot the guns because they would go through the hole and rupture the ship or whatever and the acid blew up would eat through everything so they turned off the gravity and whatever i was floating they killed all the aliens and the acid was just floating around they dodged it like a video game and then when the gravity came back on and then all the acid melted through the floor and still messed the ship up and it started crashing so they got onto the thing and got off of the ship before it crashed and she put the brother in the hypersleep and she got in the hypersleep and a cryo sleep whatever it's called and they just stowed the way on their ship i guess to be found by Waylon Uchana but she set a different course so they ended up going somewhere else and that was the end of the movie and i thought it was very good it was the best one since aliens and alien um, a lot of people don't like Prometheus and Alien Covenant. I think they're okay. They're not as bad as they think they are. But go out and see the movies. Like and subscribe to my channel. And everyone be safe. This is the Nikki. Thank you for another public service announcement.